In testing season, the researchers lure their participants into the EEG lab. They can be seen doing this many times per week during high testing season. Here, they proceed with a ritual of fitting a cap filled with electrodes to the unsuspecting participant's head. After this, participants complete a variety of computer tasks while the electrical impulses from their brain are recorded. The participants are then released back into the wild, unharmed. The researchers then spend countless hours processing this collection of data. Here, we witness a member from the research group processing some brain images. This is a fascinating task, as she is using her own brain to observe structures inside another person's brain. Other members in the group play an administrative role. They can be seen here, working in their natural habitat. The leader of the pack will gather the group periodically to discuss research ideas. She will also summon individuals to her den to carry out discussions on projects being run. This species of researcher will make time to enjoy socialization during their busy work schedules. They often conjugate together to consume their food, providing much needed sustenance and relaxation. This is essential to their survival. I think the research I do is really important. People with traumatic brain injury, they lose a lot of their friendships. They often don't return to work. They're often halfway through study. They become very lonely and isolated. And impairments in social cognition just compound on top of this. I was a CEO of a company. He never had a speeding fine in his life. And he got hit by a car, had a severe traumatic brain injury and had severe difficulties in managing people and could no longer work. We know that it can be quite difficult for some people with a traumatic brain injury to read others accurately in these social settings, yet there are currently no evidence-based treatments in this area, so these people might not receive the support that they need. Well, what I really love about our research here is that we're doing things that are theoretically really interesting, understanding how the brain works. And in doing that, we're uncovering really interesting new ways to think about treating people who've got damage to their brain. So, for example, finding out that we actually, our emotions are um, evoked when we look at other people's emotions, and then we can think about, well, how could we use that knowledge to actually develop some treatments for people. The research that I do looks at different strategies to remediate behavioural and emotional discontrol following TBI. And these strategies will hopefully be easily, easily implemented in the clinical practice. The work that I do uses EEG, uh, which allows us a really close look at the time course of that processing. So once someone has a brain injury, we can understand exactly how that injury has affected that processing of faces. Which is a really important part of communicating with other people. It's you know, the main way that we communicate with others. The research that I'm doing will hopefully go some way to remedy this by developing a group treatment program for people with traumatic brain injuries to improve their social cognition skills and ideally will go on to inform clinical practice. In this research we hope that um, we can provide tangible resources for both clinicians and um, patients with um, brain injuries and their families. We hope that when this information is published on our website and freely available, you'll inform clinical practice and future research designs. So I know that the work I do daily will eventually come to fruition in a clinical setting. I like that my research will make a difference to people like him in helping them with social skills. <laughs>